Hey guys, uh, Donna Lewis here, and welcome to the Transformed Launch Group. Um, I am wanting to basically use this time to answer any questions that you have about being part of this launch group. Um, any questions you have about the book that I am uh, getting ready to complete. I also just want to thank you for being part of this launch group. Your support and participation in this is really one of the single most important elements for an author getting ready to launch um, a literary work. So I can't thank you enough. So um, question that I have for you guys is, um, I know some of you have participated in book launch teams before um, because you were part of my last book launch. <laughs> um, but how many of you, this is the first book launch you've ever participated in? I'm just kind of curious to find that out. And um, uh, let's see here. Sorry about that. My brain is a little foggy. I'm still waking up. <laughs> um, okay, next, what I want to tell you about is what the timeline is for launching the book, what we will be doing within this group, um, also this group is set, it's public right now, but it's set to go private here in the next, I think, 24 hours. That's Zeppelin in the back. He helps me write all my books. <laughs> um, let's see. Timeline. Uh, and I'm also going to tell you about what the book is about. Um... And then again, I want to answer any questions that you may have. Now, if you're watching this later today um, in a recast, still go ahead and put your questions in the comments because I'll be going back and answering them um, for sure and addressing any questions or concerns that you might have. That being said, let me go ahead and uh, get started. So the book is Transformed 100 Words of Love to Restore the Heart. It is the second edition of the Transformed devotional series. The first, of course, is this book, Toxic to, Toxic to, Transform, ah, Toxic to Transformed 100 Words of Life to Renew the Mind. Um, that book was released in uh, May of 2019. Um, this book, the newest addition to the series, is scheduled to be launched most likely November of 2021. Now, it, it might launch sooner than that, but no later than that is the goal, God willing. Um, I am in process of praying in the funds. Now, um, I've been blessed uh, to get some help already um, in, for the book cover design. And I am so, uh, for the, well, see, every book needs a professional book cover. Now, my husband did the artwork, and he's going to do the artwork for the second book. But as far as just the formatting of putting it all together into this beautiful, um, you know, cover and that takes the help of a graphic artist. And I have been blessed to get some help with that. And I am so grateful. Um, but I still need to raise money to get it professionally edited. And then the other element is also the formatting that has to be done. The formatting that is basically taking the raw word file 
you know, that your, you know, your raw, you know, your raw file and putting it into a format that can be put into a book. And that actually takes professional help to do that. Um, I have a formatter that I am extremely happy with. Many of you know her, her name's Jen Henderson. Um, but you know, that, that takes some money. So again, I'm just, um, and then of course, like I said before, you need to get it professionally edited. No matter how good of a writer you are, and no matter how helpful all of the grammar help and the spell check <laughs> that we have in our word processing programs, you still need a human being to go through your work and make sure it's readable. And, you know, I ran into this just the other day. Um, I got this very friendly um, message and they were saying, Donna, did you know that you had a typo? Did you mean to have that on your, you know, <laughs> I had transformed or something like that. It was, I, I, I added an extra M where it didn't belong and didn't even realize it uh, in my um, graphic that I put on this group. And uh, so you just need another set of human eyes going through your work to make sure that everything is um, in good order and readable and uh, um, that it, 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 it doesn't uh, maybe need to be phrased a little differently than the way you phrased it, just to be understandable. You know, it's, you need a third set of eyes, right? So anyway, um, those are the things that I'm currently working on raising money for. Um, and um, what I want to do is for any amount that is donated towards the um, cause <laughs> of getting this book um, through editing, through book formatting, so and uh, th you know the pay the book cover, um, then I will be not only giving you a free um, e-file of the book Toxic to Transformed, but also the new book Transformed. And actually, all of you participating in this launch are going to receive um, a free e-file as my gift to you of the new book, Transformed 100 Words of Life to Renew the Mind. You'll also be getting a PDF copy of that as well. Um, um, so let's see here. What is the book about? Well, as you know, the first book I wrote is about renewing the mind, being transformed by the renewing of your mind, Romans 12, 2. Well, as a continuation of that thought, Romans 12, 2, be transformed by the renewing of your mind, um, I am writing this next in the series and that is to be transformed in the heart by internalizing the truth of what love is and what i am doing is i am taking first corinthians 13 and I'm walking down each of those attributes of love and expanding on them. So I will begin, and I'm going more in depth with this particular devotional than I did in the um, Toxic to Transformed. With Toxic to Transformed, I wanted it to be bite-sized morsels. Some of the words are very, very short in Toxic 2 Transformed. And that was intentional. Like probably one of the shortest words is just simply, you are needed. You are accepted and you are loved. That simple. Um, 
and transformed 100 words of love, I'm going deeper. I'm taking bite-sized morsels and increasing them to more like a sandwich. <laughs> Not a five course meal, but a sandwich. <laughs> and each attribute of love is going to be like a chapter because I'm going to be doing, um, I want to say around five different words with each attribute. So like take patience, for instance, there will be five words under patience. And love is patient, love is kind. So that with kindness, there'll be another five words. Making sense? But at the beginning of each one of those attributes, I am going to do an in-depth word study on exactly what is meant by patient, by kind, by not jealous, right? So the reader is going to get, by God's grace and by God's... Uh, leadership here, they're going to get a very thorough and complete understanding of what Paul was saying when he said, love is patient, love is kind. Um, and then each one of those five words is going to expand on the meaning of that word patience, that meaning of that word kindness. And then there will there will be just like in Toxic to Transform, journal entries and exercises that the reader can participate in. Hey, give me a shout out, who's watching? I see you, <laughs> but I don't know who you are. Give me a hello and where are ya? Um, so, again, if you've got any questions, go ahead and put those in the comments. Now, what is your job as far as participating in this launch team and how will this group be used? So, what I am looking to you for in the initial stages. And yes, I am actually starting this launch team very early in the process. Typically, well, at least when I wrote the first edition, I didn't start a launch team until the book was in editing um, or getting really close to being in editing. Um, but I'm starting it early and I'm starting it early for two reasons. Um, I want to build excitement and enthusiasm and your participation in this is, is key to that. Um, the next is that I am going to be providing as I, as I complete sections of the book, I'm actually going to be posting those here in this group to get your feedback to get your insight. Um, not so much like, Donna, you misspelled this word or there's a typo there. That's stuff that'll get sorted out in proofreading and in um, you know edit, editing and, and, and so forth. But more on the content. Like, um, I like what you had to say here, but I'm a little confused by this section or what if you uh, included uh, this thought? You know, like as you're reading, ideas and thoughts that come to mind, right? Or what is it stimulating inside of you? Um, um, or maybe, you know, you have an insight into um, a particular attribute of love that you, you feel could be very helpful if I included that, right? That's what I'm looking for. Um, also, um, you know, like as simple things like maybe the way I lay out the book cover or whatnot, you know, ideas that you have. Um, 
like or font you know maybe a particular font just you're like eh, I don't I don't know about that Donna um, or, things like that you know it, it's just helpful little insights um, that um, I as the author can um, use to make a better quality product um, what else when we get closer to launch, your um, promotion of the book will be absolutely vital. Um, we'll create memes and things like that that you can share on your Facebook pages and social media pages. Um, um, excerpts from the book, things like that. Quotes from the book. Um, directing them to, you know, the, the book launch landing page, which is basically just a web page for the book, directing them to the Amazon link when they, once it is officially launched, directing people to the Amazon link where they can buy it. And then this is again, another key, um, uh, key ingredient that you provide. And that is to read the book and then to comment on the book on Amazon to provide your review of the book and your recommendation and hit those stars. Um, that the, the more reviews that we can get at, um, at the very beginning of the launch, the better. It What happens is that then Amazon is like, oh, people really like this book and they're really talking about this book. So I'm gonna promote it that much more. So um, those are the, the basics of being part of a book launch. Um, again, if you've got any questions, please place those in the comments. I want to thank you again for participating in this book launch. Um, it, it, it means the world to me and your support is extremely valuable. It, it can't be emphasized enough. So uh, I look forward to hearing your comments on the, the idea behind the book. I, I look forward to hearing your feedback on, um, on the series. Um, and uh, just have a really great Wednesday, you guys. Love you much. I didn't get God that. bless. Could oh. you try again? Siri's putting his two cents in there. <laughs> I guess I need to uh, explain myself a little better to Siri. <laughs> anyway, uh, love you all. Have a great day. Thanks for participating. Put your comments in there, and I will talk to you soon.